Hello everyone, welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. Today's pick a card reading is going to be how they feel about you. This could be an ex, a current partner, this could be a crush, anyone that you're interested in the, mo in the moment romantically, okay? So let's get into it. We have pile one, pile two, and pile three. I'll give you a moment to meditate on your pile. If you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. All right, pile one. So how does this person feel about you? I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this pile is really juicy. So as you can see, you have lots of cards, but A lot of them weren't necessarily a part of the pile to begin with like that abundance card is there to clarify the luck and then the three tarot at the top where are that's the original ones and I added for more just for details because I sensed a lot of secrecy here and I just really wanted to get to the bottom of it um, I feel like I have the gist of it maybe as I begin to talk about it we can get more details about one of the specific situations I'm seeing but to answer the initial question how does this person feel about you um I do feel like this person is interested in you otherwise they wouldn't still be engaging with you and if they aren't engaging with you I'm about to tell you why and that doesn't mean that they aren't going to or that they won't come back it's just a very interesting pile so I'm just gonna overview the situation either one or both of you is guarded okay I get very hot and cold not sure energy so it's like you're not really sure if you want to be together or since we're asking about them they aren't sure they want to be with you yet because this person is kind of waiting to see how the connection goes um like I said, they do like you. They just really want to see where this is headed. So I see one, they could feel that you're guarded and it'll be very difficult to break down your barriers. That's a general message because this is one of the groups, but I do feel like it may apply to the last group that I'm going to go into detail about. You are probably guarded and there may be a reason for that. Okay. But Let's just say for this first scenario that it's not related to the other two. You're prob they feel you're guarded and it's going to be a lot of work to break down your barriers, probably because you don't trust them in some way, right? Like you're getting to know them. You're trying to figure them out. Like that's why you're asking, like you're getting mixed signals from them. Um, they feel like you're guarded for some of you. So that's they're probably just mirroring that energy if the next couple of scenarios don't ring a bell or they don't resonate but they are interested in you it just like I said they feel like it's going to be a lot of work and they feel like they're going to need a lot of luck on their side um to get through to you to show you how they feel because you're not really receptive to it that's not the juicy part the second scenario is where this person just feels like you're not really compatible the attraction is there and you kind of want to make it work but they don't know they can kind of see where this is headed like they have that visualized card they can see long term it probably won't work so they don't want to really invest too deeply into it because they're not sure if you're going to stick around or if it's just not going to work out because there are compatibility compatibility issues okay that's just the second general thing and again all of these scenarios could be related all three but take what resonates the third one is all of this energy that I see is because your person feels like you can't be trusted in some way. So they like you. They're attracted to you. They're really interested in getting to know you and being with you, but they're doing it like with their guard up because they can kind of see some things that you don't realize that they can see or they're creating these scenarios in their head because maybe they're just paranoid. 
it could be either or some of you they might just be paranoid but i feel like a lot of you this energy that i am picking up on the things that they're seeing are real and if you don't think if you didn't think that they could see some of the things that you're doing or you know the energy you're sending out they definitely can i'm going to go into detail um they feel like you're going to be trying to tr trying to take advantage of them in some way or use them that's how they feel we have the protection card if you look at the protection card all of the women they have their arms crossed i'll pick it up because you can't really see right here so the hands are crossed on that card and then you see we have the two of blades and we have the two of rods which is also something being crossed right um they feel like they need to be protected from you in some way um and those crossings actually symbolize something um i actually it's related to a message that i was gonna a point that i was about to get to but i didn't realize it before i sat i pulled up that card to make it so you can see so like with the visualize and everything i see like the moon card i see queen of cups and um i also have eight of coins and seven of coins if you've been actively manifesting this person they know they definitely know if you've been doing spiritual workings of any kind if you've been laying any kind of roots anything of that nature this person knows or they can at least feel it on a subconscious level they feel like they need protection from you because again we have hands crossed almost like you're crossing them in some way not saying you're doing it negatively in your mind but if you're doing any type of love spells of any kind this person probably senses that and they feel it as a threat okay especially because they feel like you can't be trusted in some way because the feelings of not being able to trust you may very well stem from this magic you're working or having worked or the manifestation you're doing towards them but i feel like they know that you're trying to manifest them for very specific superficial reasons the luck card didn't make any sense with these things until, with these other cards until I clarified it with the abundance and I'm seeing that Miss Queen of Elixirs which is the Queen of Cups that she's very receptive and receiving of energy maybe you see this person as lucky and fortunate maybe they you know have money or maybe um they just seem to have a good life and you feel like this could be a good partner for you so you started working whatever you needed to work to try to get this person into your life um And they can feel that like they know like okay is this real or does this person want what i have okay especially since there's this eight of coins here they feel like it like some of these people do have the means and that's why you want them others of them they just look like they have the means and that's why you want them so they feel like it's going to be difficult they're going to have to do a lot of work to maintain you like you're going to be a very high maintenance partner for you and they're just trying to see where this goes and that's even if you haven't been actively manifesting this person or working any type of magical practices on this person they can see that you're going to be a very high maintenance expensive partner for them but and not necessarily lazy but glutinous okay you're going to take a lot that they don't feel you're necessarily going to be giving back in return into this relationship and this person is much smarter than you think okay i'm getting the feeling that you think you're smarter than this person not saying you you think it in a negative way like sometimes you feel smarter than people it's not because you think less of them it's just people are smarter in different ways but i'm telling you this person is very active even if they don't speak much they think a lot and they see a lot which is why they know that you've been working your roots or whatever on them you know love spells of any kind manifesting them they know they can feel it they're very much more in tune than you believe that's why they're guarded that's why if it's been stalling that's why if things have been moving much slower than you anticipated they're moving slow because they want to see they they kind of have a feeling where this is gonna go um also 
in this person probably if they are into this sort of thing as well they've definitely laid protections like if we're going to do this we're going to do this right so you might be at a spiritual war with this individual which is funny because you're asking about a person you're interested in it's like you're laying down love spells they're over there uncrossing <laughs> your love spells because like if we're going to get to know each other we're going to get to know each other for real you're not gonna you know mess with me in that way like that's what this person is is saying like that's the energy I'm getting from this person so whatever you're working that person is just as equally yoked as you and I've never seen this type of reading like people ask me to do these types of readings all the time like oh you know what does this person think like what's what's my situation um in my personal life but I've never gotten a reading that said this person knows you're working on them and they don't trust you as a result and they also know that you're working on them because you feel like they could take care of you and be a good provider for them you could be a very good match for them you know like they no one has ever popped up in a pile like I see you getting this reading right now asking how I feel I'm gonna make sure you know that I know you're working roots on me that's crazy so um <laughs> pal one you are very you're not very good at this secrecy thing you're not very good at making sure this person doesn't know that you're trying to do this background stuff because they know or maybe they're just that in tune I'm not sure but how your person feels about you how this person and it could be a crush ex whatever person you're interested in current partner somebody you keep breaking up getting back to weather with situationship I don't know if this is a third party situation I feel for some of you it is and that's why you're doing this love magic trying to get this person to leave their partner let me see if i can pick up if they will yeah no i'm not getting that at all i'm not getting anything related to the third party situation outside of for some of you it is this person is laying like they have a very strong layer of protection up on their business so whatever they decide to do they're gonna do and they do not want me to see because hence why we have like the seven of coins surrounded by the two of blades and the two of rides they're kind of planning working and they have that protection card around it okay so they do feel that's a lot of messages hopefully they all form and flow coherently because there was so much going on with this pile Cause that's interesting and crazy but like I said if this is a person that you're very truly interested in make sure that they know that because right now they're getting really shady vibes from you and if you are being very shady I would advise you to stop making it so obvious <laughs> because this person can definitely feel the vibe that you're gonna take advantage or use them in some way or that you need them to ele elevate you in some way or because again we got queen of elixirs we've got the moon we've got the nine of elixirs like there's lots of you know receptive energy of you know abundance look like this is gonna be a come up for you being with this person and they just want to make sure that you are in it for the right reasons okay that's the overall message of what they're doing they want to make sure that you're in it for the right reasons and that this is real and authentic before they even think about actually making a strong commitment to you because I feel like right now you're either not talking to this person you're in limbo and it's kind of stagnating where like the relationship hasn't progressed or maybe this person took a break I just feel like something is kind of at a standstill like even if you're together it's just kind of mundane it's not it doesn't seem like it's going anywhere right so even if you've been in a long-term relationship with this person maybe you're at the point where like is, is this person gonna marry me or whatever like are we gonna take that next step this is why you haven't and again I don't know if this person will make whatever commitment you're seeking currently because they don't trust you okay so that was the third group um take what resonates from this I gave some general overviews of what the person feels for you or what they feel about you it's mostly thought processes because again I do feel this person is interested in you because if they 
weren't, if they didn't like you, they wouldn't be dealing with all of this. If this is truly how they think. Because I think it's pretty clear that they think of you highly. Like they like you. But they feel like you took them as an option that would benefit them most. Because they do see you as this queen of cups. So like if you're a woman, even if you're not, you know, they see you as like beautiful, this this beautiful queen of cups energy you know especially with that moon like that mystery maybe you are a little mysterious and even if none of the shady things that that they're thinking about you apply that's just your aura that's your energy that you give off you're very mysterious as well as beautiful and that's just how this person is taking it if none of those shady scenarios apply to you okay so just be very transparent, be open, and make sure that they can see you for who you are. Because this is just how they feel. This isn't necessarily um, fact. Even though I feel like a lot of you, that is your story and this person can see you. So that's all I have for you, pile number three. Oops, not three. You just had three situations. Pile number one. If this resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, pile number two, this is a very clear message, so I don't know how long or short this one will be, but it's very good news. This person sees you as their life partner, like they want to be with you long term. I'm going to read the cards because there's a lot of synchronicities in the cards and the decks right now that I want to share with you, and I'm not quite sure you can see the ones at the top left, well, the ones to the left as clearly as you can the ones on the right so you have align your life what is no longer in alignment with who you truly are followed by the actual alignment card then you have transformation and patience now I'm gonna start from the right at the bottom because that's what's net that's what's most relevant next okay you have that transformation card at the top well you also have the will of fortune right you have the Four of Blades, which is Four of Swords, the Empress, and you have lots of high active fire cards. You have, not lots, two. You have um, the Seven of Rods and the Eight of Rods. So I just wanted to share with that with you because, again, the alignment being both together and then the transformation and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, I'm at, I do know if you feel like, okay, well, if they want me so badly, why aren't they talking to me? Just, you have the Patience card and you have the four of blades so just you need to practice a little patience and just just give them a little give give them a little time give them a moment because what what happened is um they are transforming right now they're trying to make moves and get things in order because you are this empress card whether you identify as male or female it doesn't matter if that is how that person sees you as their lifelong partner very nurturing energy the person they want to have children with start a family but you came in really hot with this eight of rods i don't know if you physically came in this hot yeah i don't know if it was you that physically came in this hot or if it was just the universe sending you into this person's world before they felt ready because that is what i'm picking up very strong energy of i am not ready for this person so you are their one. They see you as their one at least. So good news for you. It's just give them a little space, give them a little patience because I see them getting their affairs in order. They, this is very active energy. I know I don't have any like any pinnacles here to show that they're making physical moves, but right now they feel like they're not in a space to be with you even though you're their person. They're trying to get everything together. Yeah, so the fact that there isn't any stability here yet shows that they're trying to put their world in a place where you can fit into it, okay? Like right now, they don't feel like their world was ready for you. Like when people think of their lifelong partner, they think of a certain place, a certain position they want to be in before they pursue that type of situation. And you freak this person out when you just appeared one day because they were like wait oh it's time now like right now to be with my person like 
right now because I am not ready. I don't have my affairs in order. Like I wasn't prepared to start a family, but this is who I want to start a family with. So I have to get ready. That's the energy that this person is in. They're like, I'm not, you know, healed enough to have a partner. I still have work to do on myself. I'm not going to be a good person. I'm going to push this person away. I know my flaws. I know I have things that, you know, I know I'm screwed up. So that's where this person is right now. And it's very clear to the point they want to be with you. They just need to get get themselves together before you can be together. At least that's how they feel. Okay? So, like I said, there wasn't that much. Just know that this person is actively making moves to be with you. They are. They're actively working to be with you. Whether they're doing things to put themselves in a position to come closer to you if you're not in the same area or bring you to them if you're not in the same area or if they just feel the need to pull in hermit mode and you know maybe they're they're seeing a counselor for whatever the issues they have they're actively working towards being with you putting themselves in a position to be an ideal partner for you okay that's all i have for you pound number two if this resonated please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching all right, pile three, I see you probably wanted to select pile two as well since your person that you're asking about is in a really p intense period of growth and development. Like they're really growing as a person and developing into who they are meant to become, specifically with this nine of blades and this five of coins. They probably had a lot going on um either currently or in the past like they went through a very deep depression just things in their life weren't, weren't flowing accordingly like i feel like this person went through a lot of trauma probably recently in the recent past or currently they're dealing with so if you haven't heard from them that's probably why um this person definitely feels really good about you okay they definitely see you as a person they want to be with the person that they want to pursue they just had a lot going on if you were getting mixed emotions or mixed messages that's why they had so much going on i see a lot of you are in third party situations um you have this unbound releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives okay so this person is wrapping up their past so if there's a partner that they're currently with they will not be with soon um they are releasing that soul contract. They are working through the people that they were supposed to meet and be with in that previous version of themselves. And they are currently releasing those people, places, and things, okay? So they're stepping into who they're, who they're meant to be with. And I feel like you are a part of that new group, okay? Now, that being said... If you're asking about an ex or a person that you've been with long term, you're either going to grow with or apart from this person. So if you haven't already been feeling the same transformative energies as this person, like if you feel like you're growing apart, you probably are. Okay, this isn't just for the people whose person is coming towards them. If you're asking about someone that you feel like you're growing apart from, you're probably in that in that past group when we're talking about releasing soul patterns and contracts like you've probably fulfilled your purpose in this per person's life and vice versa so take it as it resonates okay now this person is really growing they've had an awakening they've doing a, they're doing a lot of thinking a lot of realizations okay they are not bringing their past with them so again, if you haven't transformed with this person, we're talking about people that are here for the exes or just long-term partners that they can feel distance in themselves. If you may not be meant to go into this next phase of this person's life, and that's okay. You know, you can you can move into your own next phase of life and there's more for you there. This person was just here for a season. You know, not everyone is here to be long-term. That said, 
those of you that are asking about someone that is coming in, I'm getting that if you're asking about someone that you're trying to get to come into your life, someone that you're trying to establish something with that you not haven't necessarily, and this does include people that may be reconnecting with exes after a period of time, of like a separation. Like if you broke up recently and you're not going to get back together in a month, like this person is going to be totally different the next time you see them. But if you broke up a year or more ago, this person could be very well coming back into you. Just take it as it resonates. Like if you, if there's been no contact for that long period of time and this person steps in, then you know this message is for you. You're going into that next phase of life. But if you never hear from this person or you, you haven't felt any signs that this person is coming in, then obviously you were a part of that seasonal group from the previous era that this person is no longer aligned with okay so how does this person feel about you um like i said if you're one of those past people you know take it how it resonates but again it looks like a lot of these people in this group that are being asked about are moving into a very a, a new era of life that a lot of people are not going to be able to go with and again if you're going to come if you feel like maybe you you feel the call prematurely that you're going to be in this person's life just give them a little a little space give them a moment because they're they're adjusting to this new world which is why i also see lots of third party situations here this person is releasing their ex or their their person that they're with right now they're clearing that energy so that they can come into being with you if this is a third party situation okay so that's all I have for you, pile number three. If this resonated, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.